Ang susunod na programa ay Rated PG. Patnubay at gabay ng magulang ay kailangan sa mga batang manunood. Travel and explore the Philippines through FastCat, Jam, and Filtranco with our inter-island connectivity over land and sea. By combining the resources of our companies, we aim to transport people and cargo to various destinations across the country. FastCat, Jam, and Filtranco. Connecting the Philippine Islands. We'll be telling your story that truly is worthy to be told and heard. Healing Eucharist is brought to you by Philippine Daily Inquirer, St. Peter Life Plan and Chapels, Sekosana Ladies Bags, Balikbayan Handicrafts, Jam, Filtranco, Fast Cat, and Pagoda Philippines Incorporated. This is my body. This is the cup of my blood. of the presentation of the Lord. The Healing Eucharist Incorporated and the SVD Secretariat for Social Communications in cooperation with ABS-CBN, Philippine Daily Inquirer, St. Peter Life Plan and Chapels, Secosana Ladies Bags, Balikbayan Handicrafts, Jam, Filtranco, Fastcat, BIR RDO40, Creative Travel House Incorporated, E-Methods for Business Management, Review University for Nurses, and the Romano family celebrate with you this Holy Mass. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father Glenn Paul M. Gomez, SVD. Let us rise and start our celebration.
brethren, brothers and sisters, for the days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed him with exaltation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ, there we shall find him and recognize him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again revealed in glory. Let us pray. O God, through light, who created light eternal, spreading it far and wide, pour we pray into the hearts of the faithful the brilliance of perpetual light so that all who are brightened in your holy temple by the splendor of these candles may happily reach the light of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the candle. We have glorified God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace may be presented to you with minds made pure to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The prophet Malachi proclaims the day when the Lord will come to the temple. A messenger will be sent to prepare the people for their meeting with the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly, there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. 
He will see it, refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in the years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Please repeat. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up your ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels, reach up your ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. In Jesus Christ, the Lord comes to us in human form, like us in every way, that he may become our merciful intercessor before God. A reading from the letter of, to the Hebrew. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through that he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely, he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested to what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death, before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him. He took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, 
Now, Master, you have let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light of the revelation to the Gentiles, and glory to your people, Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What is the best way to start the day? Yes, start the day with good news. Amen. Amen. So, sa mga taga norte na imbaga bigat yung amin na po. <laughs> sa Visayas, Mindanao, maayong buntag kaninyong tanan. Sa ating pong lahat, magandang umaga, bayan. <laughs> February 2, 2020, 2.02.2.00. Ah, ang galing ano. Babasahin natin yung O, saka yung tu. Tutuo, tutuo. Oh, ayan ano. Amen. Palakpakan po natin. Date pa lang. Tutuo, tutuo. Oh, di ba? Nantilaga. We have three celebrations actually for today. So we have the uh, first Sunday po ito, Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. Today is also World Day for Religious Life. Ang religious po, mga madre, ang mga religious brothers, so religious sisters, religious brothers, including po the religious priests. So, we call it consecrated life. At yung pangatlo, today, we also celebrate True Life Sunday. Dami namang celebrations yan. Haba na kang mag-sermon ng pari, tatlo pa. Don't worry. Mm-mm. Lilimit ko na lang. Okay. So let's, let me start with the World Day for Consecrated Life or World Day for Religious Life. And I would like to commend what our religious sisters are doing. Palakpakan po natin ang mga madre. O yung mga may belo, mga lourdes po yan. O, o lay sisters ang tawag dyan. <laughs> At uh, gusto ko pong uh, banggitin the Pauline sisters. Doon po sa ating Facebook page, Good News Buhay, Gospel Power, alam niyo po ang nagsumusulat ng reflection, our religious sister, Bible scholar, Sister Bernardita Dianson. Kaya pinapalaganap po natin yan. At doon din, kasama niya si Sister Niles, ah, Niles Salazar. Yan, palakpakan po natin. Lahat ng mga madre, palakpakan natin. Oh. At yung mga religious brothers like the Lasal Brothers, uh, the former uh, Secretary of Education, Brother uh, Armin Luistro, Maris Brothers, at meron din yung mga pa, maski religious congregation, may pari at may religious brothers. Palakpakan din po natin. And we congratulate, sapagkat nandito na tayong lahat, may bago na pong uh, mga naboto sa SBD. We are also a religious congregation, so we have both brothers and priests. So kami dito sa Central Province, meron pong bagong members ng council, Father Jerome Marquez, the provincial, Vice Provincial, Father Michael L- Layugan, our Admonitor, Father Pabs Tagura, the councilors, Father Chris Cordero, and Father Sam Agkarakar. Dito po yan, SBD Central Province. Palakpakan po natin. At meron naman, galing po kami doon sa Northern Province, yung uh, Tarlac Up or Pampanga Up, no? Ayan po yan, uh, sa SBD Northern Province, the re-elected Provincial Superior, Father Romy Pajardo, Vice Provincial, Father Jerry Goodmalin, the Councilors, Father Vani Abrasado, Father Edsel Dimilio, Father Edwin Fernandez. Palakpakan po natin. At ngayon, tumbukin na natin, Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. Napakaganda po sa Tagalog, sa Pilipino, ang kapistahan ng pagdadala kay Jesus sa templo. Pakitanong ang katabi, dinala ka ba sa templo ng tatay at nanay mo? Tito Allen, dinala ka ba? Oh, Tita Rosel, dinala ka ba? <laughs> so, ito po yung celebration, including in Eastern, um, sabi na natin, right, 40 days after Christmas. Ano ang 40 days after Christmas? Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to the temple. So ito po yung kapistahan, dinala ni Jose at Maria 
ang kanilang anak na si Jesus. Bakit? Una, kaya we ask, why do we celebrate the presentation of the Lord Jesus Christ in the temple? Number one, to fulfill the law of Moses. Fulfillment of the law. Oh, sino mga panganay dito? Panganay, iyan! Okay ba? Panganay ba yung katabi mo? Sa mga Hudyo, ang panganay, the firstborn, offered, being offered. They are offered to the temple. Bakit? That's the beginning of the opening of the womb of the mother. Wow! Palakpakan po natin. Yan, no? At saan mo? O, pakitanong, yung bagong anak mo, saan mo nga dinala? Saan ka agad? Pinasyal mo ka agad? Ang firstborn pala, dinadala dapat sa templo. Amen? Feel mo. Gets mo. Sa totoo lang, patayo natin mga lahat ng nanay. Mga nanay, tayo, tayo. Okay? Yan, palakpakan natin mga nanay. Maiwan, maiwan ha. Tumayo kayo. Kung iniwan nyo ang anak, inoffer nyo ang anak nyo sa templo. Kung hindi, umupo na kayo. Kung hindi nyo inoffer, upo na. Inoffer nyo ba ang anak nyo sa templo? Upo, upo. Yung mga hindi nag-offer. Ibig sabihin, inoffer nyo ang anak nyo sa templo. O talaga, ilan nila nag-offer? Ilan? Palakpakan po natin. Inoffer nyo ang anak nyo sa templo. Nung ipinanganak nyo, after 40 days. Anyway, you know? Magandang tradisyon ngayon yan. Mula ngayon, sana nga, maging tradisyon. Pag pinanganak, ang bagong, ha? At lahat ng mga anak sana, hindi lang firstborn, lahat ng inianak ng nanay, maialay sa simbahan, sa harapan ng altar. Amen. Mukhang nanay ba yung katabi mo? Sabihin mo, gawin mo yan. Mukhang lola na yan. O, sabihin, mamaya na, para kang si propeta, Ana, mamaya ka. Okay. <laughs> so, ano yung una? Fulfillment of the law of Moses. Pangalawa, yun na yun, o, act of concentration to the Lord. Anong ginampanan ni Maria at Jose from Exodus chapter 13, verse 2? Anong nangyari? Our God, the Creator, doon ka mag act of concentration sa Diyos ng lumikha ng lahat. Amen? Ang Diyos lamang sinasamba. Amen? Very clear for Catholics. We don't adore Mama Mary. We don't worship Mama Mary. We honor her as the mother of Jesus. Amen? Kaya tapos ang usapan. Hindi tayo sumasamba sa mga santo ribolto. Diyos lamang ang sinasamba. Amen? Amen. Feel mo? Gets mo? Paliwanag mo sa iyong katabi. Ganun yun. <laughs> yung nagpipilit, iyo yan, hindi amin yan. Sino yung God, the Creator? Dalawa lang. Anong sabi sa pagbasa? Who is the God of this this creator wherein Jesus was brought to in order to be consecrated. Who is this Lord? Number one, source of all life. Anong Panginoon? Siya ang pinagmula ng lahat ng buhay. Amen. Wala ka pa, may Diyos na. <laughs> Kaya pwede pwedeng Diyosin ang tao. Amen. Yun lang ibig sabihin, yung lumikha ng lahat. Wala pang tao. Ika nga, wala pang laman ang mundo, may Diyos nang lumika at siya nga lumika ng lahat. Kung sa Biblia, seven days of creation, even in scientific explanation, I love the explanation of Father Chardin. Ang galing eh, yung five phases of evolution. Almost the same, di ba? Yung tinatawag niyang yung unang-una, noogenesis yun. Diba? Ay, you know, o Genesis. Nagumpisa yan sa, yung, sa, sa paglikha. No? Mayroong biogenesis, uh, tapos naging uh, anthropogenesis. Galing eh. So talagang scientific din ang paglikha. Sino yun? He is the source of life. Siya ang pinagmula ng lahat. No? So pangalawa, who is this creator? Who is this Lord? The giver of gifts. Uy, naku, bigyan mo ng handog yung katabi mo. Bigyan mo, ngitian mo. With matching... Tapik, tapik mo, ang ganda mo. Oo. Oh, oh. You are, yeah, ang ganda-ganda mo. Oo. Oh, oh. Handog ka mula sa Diyos. Amen. Kita mo yan? Oo. Oh. Yan si to, Tito Jojo yan, no? Dito, no? Handog ka ng Diyos. Si Tahazel, ano? Mga HJM yan. Ha? Giver of all gifts. O, oh, subukan mo. Kung bibigyan ka ng, ng gift ng katabi mo. Bigyan mo naman ako ng gift. Ay, <laughs> namimilit, ano? Pero ang Diyos, hindi namimilit. Amen. Hindi mo pa sinasabi, binibigay na sa'yo. Huminga ng malalim. Libre pa rin yan. Handog mula sa Diyos. Amen. Amen. Feel mo. Gets mo. 
Malapit ang February 14. Pagdad drama yung iba. <laughs> Wala nagmamahal sa akin. Drama mo, pre. Mga walang Valentina, walang Valentino. Pero ito ang totoo. Ang Diyos ang nagmamahal. Huwag kang umiyak pag iniwanan ka. <laughs> iniwanan ako. Nakapag-drama ka pa, nakapag-iyak ka pa, pag iniwan ka ng hangin. Ha! <laughs> Hindi ka na pwedeng mag-drama. The Creator, the source of life, the giver of all gifts. Amen! Amen. Feel mo? Gets mo? Totoo, totoo. Oh. Ah, ang galing. February 2. So, experience our God, the Creator, the source of life, the giver of all gifts. Sana, matanto natin, ito ang totoo. Ang Diyos na nang lumika ng lahat. Ngayon, ano ngayon ang ating pagninilay sa taal eruption? In the worst of time, the best in us also comes out. Amen? Nakita natin kaya patuloy natin pagdasal ng biktima ng taal, volcano. At pasalamatan natin at palapakan natin yung mga nagbibigay. Ang mga HJM, yung SISA Ministry headed by Tito Leo and Tita Lei Santo Tomas and Tita Gigi, no? Tito Louie Guerra, the couple shepherd at lahat ng mga nagsisitulong. Ano din ang ating paningin ngayon na meron ng, tinan nga yung katabi mo, may corona ba yan? O kailangan kong corona, wag lang virus. Ayon, ano? Ayon. Grabe. Ha? Can we see God in the midst of all these challenging moments? Nakikita ba natin ang Diyos na lumikha sa panahon ng pigati? Sino ang umiyak ng mamatay si Kobe? NBA legend. O sabi mo sa katabi mo, buhay ka pa! Amen! Yun, the giver of life. Our Lord. So, reminder, who is our God? Our Creator? God the Creator, Jesus the Redeemer, the Holy Spirit Sanctifier, who is the Blessed Trinity. Today, we are reminded as we celebrate the presentation of the Lord to the temple wherein Jesus was offered to the God, the Creator, the, the Father. Ano ngayon yan? Our God is the bundle of joy, peace, and light. Ano man ang magyari sa buhay, ang Diyos ay pinagsamang tuwa kapayapaan at liwanag. Kayo ba makita ang liwanag sa palibot ng mga abo? Kayo ba makita ang liwanag sa mga coronang virus? So, yun ang challenge sa ating lahat. So, ano nga ang presentation of the Lord? Number one, fulfilling the law of Moses. Pangalawa, act of consecration. Pangatlo, act of purification. Kaya ngayon, itong purification, ang mga babae nung, nung, sa mga kultura ng Hudyo, kapag dinugo, that is, you become not clean. So you should be purified. But more than the purification, we call it sanctification. Kaya tingnan ang katabi, tao na ba yan? Pangalawang tanong, banal na ba yan? Amen! Kung tao, one point. Anong kinakailangan natin? Be sanctified. Maging banal. Ano ang nangyari kay Kristo? Ang banal ay naging tao upang ang tao ay maging? Amen. Feel mo? Gets mo? Yun. Kaya itong linggong ito, ang tawag dito, the candle mass day. The presentation of the Lord is called candle mass day. Kaya nga natin, na-bless ang mga kandila. Bakit? Kinakailangan ng liwanag. Kung maliwanag ang isip ng tao, anumang kadiliman ang nararanasan sa buhay, may liwanag pa rin. Amen! Amen. So, we also ask the protection of Mama Mary. Kaya yung mga nandito po, yung mga itong uh, Our Lady of Lords. Pwede ka palakpakan natin itong Our Lady of Lords sa ito. Ayan. Pwede kayong tumayo. Marami po sila. Tumayo mga Our Lady of Lords. Ayan po. Yan, today, no? The protection of Mama Mary, we ask. And finally, the presentation of the Lord is called the meeting. Anong ibig sabihin? Ang pagtatagpo. Tanungin ang katabi, kanino ka nakipagtagpo? Ayan, ano? <laughs> ang maganda, sino ang natagpuan? Ang nagbabantay sa templo, si Simeon at si Ana. 
Mga may edad na. Kaya ito rin ang pagtatampo ng bata at may edad. Wow, pwede rin, no? Sino mo yung katabi mo? May edad na ba yan? Ayan, baka si edad yan. Pero higit sa lahat, ito ang kinakailangan. Magtagpo ang tao at ang Diyos. Yun ang kinakailangan. Magtagpo ang tao at ang Diyos. At ngayon, pakinggan natin muli ang sinabi ni Simeon. Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace. Nakita ko na ang Panginoon. Nakita ko na ang tagapagligtas. Pwede na akong mamatay. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo. Sabihin mo nga yun. Eh, kita mo. Hindi mo pala kikita ang Diyos. Hindi ka pa handang mamatay. Amen. Feel mo. Gets mo. Ito ngayon ang hamon. At ano ang pakiramdam ng mamit si Kristo? Ano kayang pakiramdam ng mamata? Pag ito ka. Ha? Ano kayang pakiramdam? Makikip. Kasi yung favorite sister chick? Ano yung favorite actress, actor mo dito? Bilis. Bilis. Oh, sino? Ay oh, yung mga Navy, meron ba kayong favorite actor? Sino po, sino? Sa mga, palakpakan natin ng mga Navy, palakpakan po natin, ha? Sino, sino? Si Papa P. Ah, paano ba kita mo? Si Papa P. <laughs> Pero ito, si Jesus, ano kayang pakiramdam mo pag si Jesus ang iyong nakita? Now, the challenge is seeing God. Makita ang Diyosan sa mga tao. Kaya tingnan mo ang katabi mo, nandiyan ba ang Diyos sa Kanya? Sa oralus, steading na, ha? Nandiyan ba? Makikita mo ba ang Diyos sa mga bagay? Seeing God in things, in His creation. Yun ang challenge as we celebrate the presentation of the Lord, the candle mass. Sana makita ng Diyos, makita natin ang Diyos sa mga tao at mga bagay. Pag makikita na natin ang Diyos, nakikita na we become a mystic. Mystic Alex, habi mo, hawak mo yung katabi mo. Parang si... Ha? His eminence. Ganyan. Pag nagbibiroan noon kami, tinuturuan niya, Uy, banal ka na. Hawakan mo. Tin mo yung katabi mo, banal na ba? Hawakan mo. Pag banal yan, magtanda ka, magsantanda ng ganon. <laughs> Kaya nakikita, tin mo, yung katabi mo, baka Diyos na yan. Kita mo. At sa mga bagay, pag hindi mo nakikita ang Diyos sa mga tao at mga bagay, ikaw ay mistake. Pa isa kang pagkakamali. Mistake ka. Mistake. Kinakailangan ka maging mistake. Makita ang Diyos sa mga tao at mga bagay. Feel mo? Gets mo? So this is meeting God. Meeting God entails experiencing in Latin, mysterium pasinosum. The mystery that attracts. <laughs> attracts you. Know? By which humans are irresistibly drawn to the glory, beauty, adorable quality, and the blessing and the redeeming. Mysterium pasinosum. You are fascinated. Mysterium pasinosum. Amen? Amen? And you also experience meeting God entails what? Mysterium tremendum. Mystery that repels by which the dreadful, fearful, and overwhelming aspect of the numinous appears. So with God, pag may Diyos sa loob, may Jesus, walang Espiritu Santo, makikita mo siya sa tao at sa bagay. This is the peace of the presentation of the Lord. Kapistahan ng pagdadala kay Jesus sa templo. Naunawaan mo na ba? Feel mo? Gets mo? Gawin mo? Purihin natin ang Panginoon. Close your eyes, bow your head, and today experience being presented to the temple. Kung di man tayo dinala ng ating mga bagulan sa templo, now is the time to imagine it. Isa larawan, dinadala tayo ng ating mga magulang sa templo. Inaalay sa Diyos na lumikha. Lumikha ng lahat. At ngayon, tayo ay napokonsecrate din. Nagiging banal. Amen. Slowly open your eyes, your eyes, as we profess our faith and say, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary 
and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ shines as the light and salvation to all nations and the glory of His people. Let us bring our prayer to the Father who gave us His only Son to light our way through Him with confidence, we pray. God of light, listen to your church. Please repeat. That the church may show to the world the true face of Christ and a sign of salvation to all, we pray. God of light, listen to your church. That those in authority may render selfless service to society, have the courage to speak and act in the name of truth and justice, and bear witness to the light of Christ, we pray. God of light, listen to your church. That consecrated men and women, through their faithful observation of the evangelical councils, may always become beacons of light to their communities and to the church, we pray. God of light, listen to your church. That expectant mothers whose hearts are troubled may receive helpful, loving support from their families, friends, and community, we pray. God of light, listen to your church. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May they find May, may, they, may the Lord reward them in their life, in this life to come, for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. God of light, listen to your church. That all those who have gone before us may be welcomed in the company of the angels and the saints who eternally sing the praise of God we pray. God of light, listen to your church. We also include Thanksgiving offering by uh, DBP Service Group, their 32nd anniversary. To the uh, ninth uh, anniversary, founding anniversary of the civil military operations of the Philippine Navy, the um, CLSU, who will hold their Summer graduation right this coming uh, February 13. Romero Balinas family, James Leawen, BSM Ruel Texon, RDO 40 Cubao, Rogelio Cruz, Gloria Garcia, and the PRC 2019 year end uh, performance and assessment and performance planning for 2020. And for uh, Bobby uh, Bagurbo, we pray. God of light, listen to your church. Almighty Father, Christ your Son became man that he might lead us to you. As we celebrate his presentation to you, we offer our humble petitions and ask him to bring us to your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen.
So pray my pray now, my dear friends, that this our sacrifice and our personal intentions may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation with the angels and saints praise you as without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, our Archbishop and the Secretary of the Propagation of Faith, who next to our Bishop and all the clergy, the religious entire people. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Ngayon po, dahil nga po dito sa coronavirus, no limit tangerin mo na tayo. Huwag tayo maghawakan. Dasalin natin ngayon ang dasal na itinuro sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Narito ang ating mananakop. Siya ay dinala at inihandog sa templo. Behold the divine word, our Emmanuel, God is with us. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. and Laura, Alan D, Larry, Leonard, Ilano, Priscilla Ibanez, Valentina, Ido Vigas, Jesusa. And we also pray for the birthdays of Kit Emmanuel, Leawen, Nino Bersosa, Admiral Robert, Emperad, Sonia, Valeron, Lourdes, Rubio, Josephine Ong, Manuel, Vinas, Tessa Marie Chua, Ernie Lopez, of our um, ABS-CBN, Sir Ernie, Erica, 
Rubion. At ngayon, isama natin sa ating panalangin na mga kapatid natin may karamdaman, may sakit sa katawan, emosyon, sa isip at lalong-lalo na sa espiritu. Muli natin iangat sa Diyos sa mga biktima ng coronavirus sa buong mundo. Sana, mapugsana, mawala na ang sakit na virus na ito. Ganon din, patuloy natin isama sa panalangin ng mga biktima ng pagputok ng taang vulkan. At ganon din, huwag sana makalimutan ang biktima ni Ursula. Panginoon, kinakailangan namin ng iyong paghilom. Hilumin mo kaming mga tao. Hilumin mo rin ang mga bagay, ang talikasan ay iyong nilikha. Ang lahat na ito, hinihiling namin sa pamagitan ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon. Amen! Purihin natin ang Panginoon. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa ating mga readers, our ating commentator, at sa ating mga community uh, sponsors. Muli, to the uh, Blue Ladies and to the to mga Lourdes Group, to the Navy, at pwede bang tumayo rin ang mga SJW uh, ng, uh, ng uh, HJM sa pamumuno ng ating uh, Shepherd, Tito and Tita, Jojo, Hazel, and Troy ang ating spiritual head, ay our pastoral head, Tito Tita Bolilani Gabino, ang kanilang spiritual director, Father Domi Guzman, another Saint Paul Father. Maraming maraming salamat po at siyempre ang ating choir, ang music and life ng Helpsy. Purihin natin ang Panginoon. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection with us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he has been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forward to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith, take you to persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit count down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has just ended, but our mission begins. begins. Go with Jesus. Go with the Holy Spirit. Go with God the Father, because God goes with you. Thanks be to God. Let's join music and life as we continue praising and thanking God. Amen. May tuwa sa piling ng Diyos Sapagkat tirap ng puso ay naglalaho May awit, may sayaw At mapuli para sa Diyos Nakatid ng puso May galak, may galak, may saya, may tuwa sa piling ng Diyos Sapagkat hirap ng puso ay The Healing Eucharist was brought to you by...
Philippine Daily Inquirer, St. Peter Life Plan and Chapels, Sekosana Ladies Bags, Balikbayan Handicrafts, Jam, Filtranco, Fast Cat, and Pagoda Philippines Incorporated. Travel and explore the Philippines through FastCat, Jam, and Filtranco with our inter-island connectivity over land and sea. By combining the resources of our companies, we aim to transport people and cargo to various destinations across the country. FastCat, Jam, and Filtranco. Connecting the Philippine Islands. We'll be telling your story. Truly is worthy to be told and heard across the oceans and seas. We are driven by balanced news, fearless views, in the spirit of fairness and truth. Someone you can trust who is just when you ask is a must. Cause there is an inquirer, there is an inquirer in all of us.